You know, when you're a child, you only remember certain things. I remember the first day, like, perfectly. Uh, my mom took me to school, and uh, I had this, like, little Mickey Mouse backpack. She would always just stand there waiting for me. You have parents have come in, they're nervous about speaking English. There's a barrier at that school. When the parents came to pick up, they would stand at the door and wave and want their children to come to them because they knew they couldn't communicate with me. When you don't understand people, the language that they're speaking, you tend to be, I think, scared, but above all, ashamed. The National Center for Family Literacy, everything that we do is about education and literacy, but we do it with a family. The crux of the program is when the parents come and learn to help their own children. Parent and Children Education Program. Sharon Darling さんからお話を聞きまして、私も素晴らしいことだと。When Toyota came, we were in North Carolina in four communities. We were in Kentucky, and that was it. We had aspirations that we needed to go nationally with this, but we would not have had that opportunity if it hadn't been for Toyota. We really do try to develop long-term partnerships. For us, it's, it's more than just writing a check. So they'd actually loaned us executives for a year to come and help us put in place problem-solving systems, processes. So they wanted to help us grow strong as an organization. The parents go in and they come back and say, now I know how my child learns. Now I know how I can help them at home. The Toyota way is to, to respect everyone. You know, what are the ways we can improve and how do we look at things differently? And it's, I think, a model for the nation about what philanthropy can do. Having my family go through this program, it really opens your eyes. My mom, she set a goal to learn English. It really pushes you to create your own goals to achieve. The whole family grows as a unit. It's just really great having had that program.